Are we good to go now? Hey, hello. Oh. Mm. And then they added, okay. Um... Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Hey. Hey, hey. What's up? <clears throat> Is that Windrunner following right now? Thank you. I love that wind. I love that wind. I love that wind. I love when the wind runs. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh. even know if I want to host at this point. <laughs> he said, just because of that, take it back to host. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's saying, like, me too. Me too. I love when the wind runs. Oh I also God. love when the wind runs. <laughs> I, too, am a fan of when the wind runs. Have you ever heard of Run the Jewels, Run the Wind? Right, oh, there's Motion Man now hosting. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. All right. Well, good start. So, hey, guys. How's it going? My name is Justin. I usually let Mark go because he's usually the regular, but all right. Uh, I'm, I'm Philip. Mark! <laughs> and you're watching and are listening to episode uh, 388 of Dang Podcast. <laughs> that shit fucking killed me. <laughs> we got uh, we got Phil. Uh, we got uh, Mark joining us uh, hey. for this episode. How are you guys doing? Good. Tired. I got this cup of coffee. Um, oh. I'm about to down because okay. I just got off work. Nice. How is work? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know, you know, you know, okay. Don't, 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 don't even. Don't, no, I wasn't the, it wasn't the worst even, thing. Don't. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. I, but I've been in and out of trucks all day, and my arms hurt. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's a good workout, I think. I say, I escape your arms. It just means you're getting swole. Mm. <laughs> nice. I'd like to believe that, but let, let's just keep going. <laughs> well, the sign that the muscles are breaking down, but they don't. There's not necessarily a fact of it growing back stronger. So. We'll see. That means you need some protein. Oh, that's true. For now, he just has it down to the coffee. We'll talk about protein later. Seriously, if you're ar if if you tore the muscle fibers, you're going to come back even stronger. But eat some protein, bro. Yeah, it's something <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I was out and about. The only exercise I get like nowadays is just simply going out and going for walks. I just did one today. And I only had the only motivation was Pokemon Go at that time <laughs> at this point. Oh, yeah. Because I, I, I was out of fair. stock. I needed more Pokeballs. <sighs> <laughs> God damn it. It's good, though. It's good. It's, it's good. It, I'm finally using it for what its, its purpose is. So, yeah. At least I'm making progress there. Shining Pearl yeah. and my. um. <laughs> My shiny starter isn't going so well. Are we just going to jump into that? Uh, Yeah, Uh, unless you guys no. want something else to uh, bring up. I'm down. Uh, Mark, have you played Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Oh, he's muted. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's your answer. <laughs> I wish. This dude went, no, mute. Unmute. I wish, mute. As if it was like entirely choreographed <laughs> like everything was like purposely done all right mm -hmm. mark well played if only i had this much talent in music making me too i probably do i just haven't tried <laughs> i know right it's just a matter of just simply trying i know naya wanted us to kind of do that but we've been just too busy to do that but um yeah um yeah so yeah, well with... clearly he's also busy too busy making an emo for me but you know oh Oh, we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're all bu we're just busy, but we've been trying to like get some time into playing um the new Pokemon games or, or the remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, which are Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Um, Phil, you probably played a lot more of it than I have. I was talking about how I wanted to do something different. I wanted to get a shiny starter, which therein lies doing a soft reset over a number of times until you get your sh your uh, shiny um and that hasn't been going well i've been doing that since prior to me leaving for thanksgiving break you and, still haven't gotten it no nah, i haven't gotten it and i'm still there like <clears throat> i i can admit it myself so i have to i have to get it and so i'm still at the beginning of like what was it lake verity young grasshopper it takes time it you takes must sit down and mm -hmm. just play it all day and hope to God you get it. <laughs> oh my God. I, I might as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I've been playing it. Uh, I haven't been streaming it though, because it's one of those games. I just kind of want to play for myself. Okay. Um, but sorry, I mean, a goldfish. Um, 
it's good. I don't. It is. It's definitely a one for one remake, right? Like there's nothing different story wise. There's nothing super crazy except for one thing. And um, they made the elite four way harder. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> That's what I've heard. I've, I've heard Cynthia will fucking crush your nuts. I've heard that too, but keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. Um, no, no, no. Uh, I just, I've only up to the fourth gym. I, I just beat the fourth gym. I'm on my way to the fifth gym. And yeah, I mean, it's Diamond and Pearl. I forget how bad it is that that game has no fire Pokemon, like whatsoever. <laughs> it, it's pretty bad. Um, they have a supplement to that, but you know, it's... Other Could you just trade another Pokemon? Uh, Wait, what? I well, I mean, you could trade, like, say, the starter or uh, Ponyta. There's, like, like but there's only like, seven. Can you Pokemon from Sword and Shield. No, no. Well, okay. In theory, yes, but it has to be the Pokemon that's already in the game. It's already in the game. Like, so, like, if like if I had shot in the dark, if I wanted a Geo Dude. Okay. But I have one in Sword and Shield. I could put it in Diamond and Pearl because there's a Geodude in that in that Dex. Oh, okay. But what about the National well, Dex and everything? There, uh, as far as I know, there is no National Dex. That's the one there, thing they did remove. There is, actually. There is? Oh, that's what I've heard. Okay. Um... How are you supposed to get all the Pokemon? <laughs> you, can't, you can't even do that um, by normal means. Not, not At least not with the Switch games. Pokemon Home. I think, I, think Austin Jones plays, I, I, think, I think Austin John Plays has a video on it. Oh, hmm. he, he probably has a dozen videos on it, actually. I'm, not, I'm a little curious now. I kind of want to do that myself. Hmm. Um... Because this is yeah. at, we're at a point now where like Pokemon Home has like its like uses now, where you can like just jump stuff like all over, but you had to pay the the fee for that or the subscription for it. It's not yeah. a lot, but like I pay like three bucks a month. Hmm. It's I'm, not bad. They yeah. should tie it to the online service, but you know, mm, yeah. nah, nah, that, that makes too much sense. Yeah, nah, it's too easy. Fuck me, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, fuck you, right? Yeah. Totally forgot about that shit, but... Seems like the perfect I mean, segue to another topic, but we'll continue. Well, I was gonna say, um, I like it so far, though. I, I think the criticism's a little too hard on the game. I understand if you don't like it. Because it is Gen 4. It's... It doesn't have all of the nuanced things that come in later on. Gen 4 is a solid generation, it's great. I mean, it's not my favorite gen, but it is a really good gen. It's the gen that got me back into Pokemon. Mm. Still pains me that Gen 3 was so disappointing to you. We're not going to go over this. We're not, We're not going to go over We're this. not talking about that. We're not, I've already gone over this too much. It's fine. I, Anyways, it's fine. <laughs> before the Pokemon community cancels me even further. um, <laughs> No, I, I think it's good. I think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are very good games. Um, they're They're good. I really don't have much to say about it. I want to explore the underground. I understand that, from my understanding, that is actually different. They've definitely, uh, for the most part, just expanded it so that there's other different types of Pokemon, like Fire type Pokemon, that you can go and capture there. Uh, the more, the only notable ones are like Houndour, Houndoom, and then Magmi and Magbar. But like Magbar, is, fire type. <laughs> yeah, Magmi and Magbar, Magbar. are like. Pearl exclusives? Yeah, but they're also Pokemon that are Magby, Magmar are in are in the Gen 4 decks. Yeah, yeah. So technically, theoretically, those are there. So there's only eight fire Pokemon if you don't count Houndoom and Houndor. Hmm. If if you if you only count what's in the actual Gen 4 decks, there's only eight fire Pokemon. There's Chimchar and his evolution, so that's three. That's already three. There's Ponita, Rapidash, uh, that's five, five. <laughs> and then uh, the other the, what, three, Magby, Magmore, and Magmortar. Yeah. That's wow. it. That's the only fire Pokemon. 
Wow. This just, I wow. keep forgetting, and I, I just keep playing, and I'm like, where the fuck are all the fire Pokemon? Why do I keep seeing Poinitas? <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, funny enough, you don't see, like, Rabidash on, like, people's, like, Hall of Fame. Right? There's wow. nothing but Rapidashes. Mm. Unless you run an Infernape. Right. Alright, so I literally just get an Infernape and then trade it in. That's Pretty also, much. That's also, like, a case scenario. Thing too. I mean, I run, I run in Polion, so it's not. Yeah. I mean, I, I say they're both. I would have an Empoleon and an Infernape. They're two of the best. I mean, no, no disrespect, because I do like Turtwig's line. I do. It's just that I prefer the other two. I'm, I'm not offended by that, Mark. Just to let you know. Yeah. Kristoff comes in the fuck you just said. Kristoff <laughs> loves Turtwig. Yeah. Kristoff, Kristoff just logs on. He's just like straight up. Hey, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean, I, think, I, mm-hmm. I, I like Dirt Twig too. He's just not. I, I like Dirt Twig. He just. I, I just prefer Chimchar and Piplup. I would say, uh, for like all the generation starters, um, I kind of evenly like like all three of these starters versus other ones where it's a little bit more like one side to one or another. This one's kind of like oh, right. evenly split. Like I like same. all three oh. of them. Oh, same. Like for me, it is. It's just like I think the the end is because I think that. Uh, as their base starter, like Piplup, Chimchar, and Turtwig, only in those forms. Oh, they're all great. Mm-hmm. And same, th- and like I think all their final evolutions are great. But I just, it's like at the aesthetic wise, I just prefer the end of Empoleon and Infernape. and uh, Infernape. I think I, Tor- I, I think Tor- Tor- Torterra is cool. It's just that I prefer the other two. The one thing I wanted to bring up, though, no, nobody in Gen Four is bad though in terms of starters. No one's bad. No, they're all they're all actually really good, and they all have good like decent stats. Any of them you run on a team, you're gonna get like good results out of all of them. Uh, but I was gonna say uh, something I brought up on the. I think I was on, I was on the last podcast, huh? I guess technically speaking, yes. Because yeah, it's been two weeks since we did the Thanksgiving break. Yeah, it has been two weeks. All right, cool. All right, well, on the last one, I brought up the fact that there is no platinum content, and mm-hmm. that is still true. I was playing it, and you Not know what? Yet. <laughs> no, it's not not yet. There ain't no DLC in this game. Oh, not yet. I like definitely no DLC, but it's <sighs> look in terms of faithfulness, it's pretty spot on. I'm just saying, man. You never but know. I... Yeah, I the lack of platinum content is kind of it, it keeps it from being like a good like nine to like an eight for me. That's why I think this is a good eight out of ten game. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I I just wouldn't hold I just wouldn't hold it right there because I wouldn't hold my breath because I'd be like I would not be surprised because with the last remakes they, like they like we said with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire what do we get we got the Delta episode yeah but the Delta episode is actual new content it is new content but, yeah but it was also their way of filling in with the platinum con with the with the, it was their way of filling in with Emerald so they could do no, something similar with platinum there's no Battle Frontier so I don't know what you're referring to <laughs> it was still Emerald content nope. I'm sorry, but the the issue is when I meant Emerald content, I meant what actually is in Emerald version. I, yeah, they say it's true. They say you that's know, a different story. Um, Platinum actually has that entire distortion world where Giratina's second form is at. Yeah, there is no that's not here. I, like, I would, anything, yeah, I would say that everything's fine. I think um, what was it? Giratina's like origin form is kind of something that's a little bit of an asterisk. Like it can be there. Um, you could argue that's tied into platinum because of that's where it originates, but it's because it just kind of stay, it keeps it uniform with everything that it's included. I mean, you can pretend you have platinum stuff. We can did pretend. You, anybody, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can pretend. Did you get the the platinum outfit? <laughs> the platinum outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could just pretend you're playing a platinum remake. Close enough. <laughs> but no. I am a little disappointed there's no platinum content, but what is there is good. It is faithful remakes to Diamond and Pearl. Uh, I'm playing Diamond or Brilliant Diamond. What are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Shining Pearl. Just Mark, because, what are you like, playing? Just simply because. My feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I swear to God, this wasn't another Series X moment. I promise. Pain. <laughs> if I was to play one, I would have chose Brilliant Diamond. 
<laughs> the Pokemon X and Y was me. Wait, why are you crying? Pokemon. I would always choose the Elga. Understandable. That that was I chose Brilliant Diamond because I played Diamond back in the day, so I was like, "Fuck it, that's the remake." Yeah, that's the same for me too. But yeah, it's good. I I I do encourage people who like classic Pokemon to play it. Mm-hmm. it if really... you're a little bit, oh god, yeah. If you're a little bit more frustrated with like the newer ones, I think you'll like this one. I think um, one of the pluses for. Um diamond pearl remakes is the fact that like aside from being a one-to-one and uh in addition to like the expansion to the underground there's also uh i guess just like a little bit more attention to detail for like the actual like battle uh, sequences like the background for example is just a lot oh my god then yeah the oh no you know what let's bring up the best topic or the best part of the whole game the music is so fucking good. Oh yeah. The the remastered music, oh my god. I they took the entire MIDI soundtrack from the DS game and then just added orchestra over it. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. The first time I heard a uh, Route 209, I was like, that's it. Route 209. Oh, it's great. That's it. That it's great. You got me. I cannot wait to hear what Cynthia's theme sounds like oh whenever god. I get to the Elite 4, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm I'm just getting all these memes like popping in my head. You know that one sequence, like I think it was one of the gems where it's in the same generation where you have to like guess like what the number is based on like this math question. You, you choose the wrong one. Here comes Cynthia's theme. Do 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 do. You dumb. I figured out how to get the national decks. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what? I figured out how to get the national decks. You just talked to Rowan, right? You just you see everyone, and then you talk to Rowan, right? You need, you need to encounter. You need to encounter every single Pokemon. Which is, I think it's pretty easy if you just fight every trainer. Oh, so you have to at least just encounter them on the regular decks? That's actually different. Simple. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very simple. Wasn't that always the case for every single Pokemon? Or, or at least maybe, like, Gen no, you onwards? Did, you did, normally you'd have to catch them. Really? I no, swear you it. don't have to. No, national decks, you don't even have to catch all, or see all the Pokemon back in the day. You just have know, to like, I'm saying usually to complete the Pokedex... It wouldn't count as complete unless they were all caught. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to catch it. them. Yeah, you'd have to catch them because the data gets put into the Pokédex. Yeah, I do remember that uh, with Gen Four, you could swap between like you know, you know, Gen Four and then the whole National decks if you wanted to fill yeah. one or the other. Uh, it doesn't fill like they both fill in automatically. It's like, let's say you're missing a Pokemon that goes into both. As long as you yeah. catch it, both get filled out. Yeah, but. That's kind of weird in this game that you have to get every single Pokemon at least seen just to get the net the national decks because in the original you just have to beat the game. That's tech national decks is usually post game content. Right. Yeah. Hmm. What I am I am excited because Diamond and Pearl does have a post game. It's that island. Oh, uh, which island was that? It's the one like behind the the Pokemon League. I forgot what it's called, but it's oh. like a bunch of like cool things you can do. Oh well, I think I think I, Gen Four and Island. I think Destiny Island. Uh, I, did you really have to bring a Kingdom Hearts <laughs> reference? Kristoff isn't even here. <laughs> Destiny Island is also where Deoxys is. Oh. Yeah, I will say Destiny though, Island is Gen Three, huh? <laughs> my God, I yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, just a real quick callback to like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. The fact that like they're that little additional like episode. That includes the oxes was actually really cool. Yeah. See, the... what confuses me is because there were Gen Four Pokemon in the movie of the Oxus. Was there? They usually yeah. like to do that. They kind of like there was a bunch of X. Yeah. See, they like to like sprinkle in like a new Pokemon like with each generation. Like <laughs> in um, what was it? I think it was. Yeah, it was like Mo- Pokemon Movie Two Thousand. There was Lugia, and then there was Donphan. Those are Gen 2 specifically. Yeah, and then Gen 2 wasn't even out yet. Yeah. Yeah. I was just about to bring up 2000. So, I mean, it happens. But I think Pokemon, I think the remakes are good. Uh, People should play them. They're fun. Especially, like I said, especially if you like classic Pokemon. Like, even the fucking TMs are, like, breakable in this game. Yeah. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, but it's true to form. It's true to form. That's what happened in Diamond and Pearl. 
Oh, how how hilarious is it that the fucking Bidoof just does everything for you? <laughs> like they are even self aware that Bidoof is the biggest HM whore I've ever seen. Oh my god! Straight up, you don't it's even have to. Mean. You well, you don't have to attach any HMs. That's the that's the only one of the biggest improvements is uh HMs don't have to be attached to any Pokemon to use that HM move. A Bidoof will literally appear. You don't even have to have the Bidoof in your party. He just shows up and just helps you out. Uh, so they basically they just made him the sprite that pops up. Pretty much, mm-hmm. like they like like they used to do that, but make it a ride on sprite. Yeah, mm. but like Bidoof just does everything now because that's what he used to do. Except for fly, literally the only thing he cannot learn is fly. Yeah. Could you imagine there's a Bidoof with wings? <laughs> oh my fuck! How about Bib Barrel? How about, how about a, a Bib Barrel with wings? What a missed opportunity! <laughs> Could have just know. been a. I would have. I thought I thought it would have been cute if they were to put a because if you use fly it's a star Ravia, but or a star raptor but if you were to use a Bidoof and have like balloons on him and he shows up to carry you that would have been so fucking cute. <laughs> I was gonna say that like, would have been the best. Just a better yet, with a hot air balloon, he's just like he's like rising up with it. And nah, then, better yet, and then he just surf. smacks his ta- he just smacks his tail into the ground using that force to lift himself. Holy shit! <laughs> and then like surf because it's Bidoof, he just has like little like life support thing. <laughs> Oh my god! And you're just riding a beaver up. catapult. But I, uh, I do want to explore the underground. I'm gonna save that for post game. Oh really? I'm just gonna beat the game and then I'm gonna just do all the underground stuff. There's some cool things about would... the national then. Um, about the starters, you'll see later. I nice. wonder. If, I wonder if Bidoof is a. I wonder if Bidoof is some kind of. Is there a, a Japanese beaver? Yes. What? Is there a Japanese beaver? I, I don't know actually because a lot of because here's the thing it's a, the Sinnoh region is based on it's another Japanese region so like I'd have to imagine there must be I some type of human. Got you, dog. Let me look it up right now. Some lore. Oh, <laughs> is but, Bidu some kind of god? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. Do gets the mega evolution, not B barrel. I know I'm looking for Badoof. Hold up, got you. You guys can keep talking. I'm just gonna look it up real quick. Yeah, for sure. Um, I guess we're still like on the topic of Pokemon. Yeah, no, I, I wish I could add more. I'm just really stuck with that, sh- trying to get that shiny. I haven't gotten okay like, the shiny Starly yet, so thank goodness. <laughs> Okay, so the Pokemon itself is not is only just inspired by a normal ass beaver. There's no Japanese beaver. Normal ass beaver. You know, closest, a, I check closest thing there is is the is the Eurasian beaver, which is in China. Yeah, there is no actual beavers in Japan or the Mediterranean. Is what it said. Yeah, cl- closest there is is China. Yeah, and okay. then it's funny because it says that the name Bidoof comes from the fact that it's a beaver and doofus. <laughs> it's a dumbass beaver. <laughs> That is exactly that is quote unquote what it says. So uh, yeah, I I figured it was like goof. Nope, he's a badoof because he's dumb. Oh yeah, the <laughs> doof part B for beaver and then doof for doofus. Jesus. <laughs> they literally just say this beaver is a fucking idiot. Pretty much. That that's pretty much what it means. It's good. It's great. Um. Yeah, that's all I have about Pokemon. Like it's it's good. I th- I think people should really play it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's a very good game to supplement the weight for oh, yes. uh, legends. Legends, ah uh, yes, what will be truly be the real shine of this year. Yeah, the well, it's guess, not even this I year. Follow, 2022. Follow, yeah, the following year. <laughs> of next year. Yeah, yeah. Of next year. It's hey, definitely one of the biggest games next year, dude. Next year is stacked. Like, <laughs> isn't it coming out like literally at the very beginning of next year? Yeah, literally Jan, like the end of January. Yeah. yeah. The end of January. I'll be yep. we're already we're already like less than two months. Yep. We're we're a month away. Is it December? Oh my god. No, it's still like a it's like a week. It's like a month and a half away. So less oh, than two yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. actually. Because it's a it's December so close, it's a January twenty eighth or twenty ninth, I think. Man. Ten days ten days after me and Anaya's birthdays. Yep. Hmm. Just, just uh, I can't I can't wait, dude. It's 
but yeah, it, Legends is one of the biggest games next year. Kirby and the Forgotten Lands looks amazing. When's that coming out? Uh, uh, spring, yes, spring 2022. Spring. I know we won't, be, we won't be seeing Justin for a while. Oh, you'll <laughs> see me. He'll be in the backlog. He'll, it'll, it'll just start the podcast, and it's just him playing, and he's not talking. Hey guys, backlog. Hop on that immediately. Hey guys. <laughs> just and everyone That's else has to talk. To Kirby, if you don't hop on it immediately. <laughs> what? Well, because there's. I can't is that, that. Uh, what else is there? Oh, uh, they had delayed Advance War, so that's going to come out oh, in spring yeah. 2022 as well. Mm-hmm. Actually, that has a confirmed date. It's April something. Oh, really? Yeah, they delayed it till April, so Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. I can't wait to play that. I love Advance Wars. Uh, and then Triangle Strategy. Thank you, Square, oh, for yeah. the dumb name. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Hey, the game looks amazing. The game was fun when I played the demo. I just don't think that name is good. <laughs> like, come on, dog. I don't go to a store and ask for triangle strategy. <laughs> what the fuck? Who does that? Who does that? Sir, the kids section is over. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, get the fuck out of my store. I don't know what the fuck you just asked. That's not Call of Duty. <laughs> or is it? No. <laughs> But yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of the games next year, dude, and I can't wait. And a lot of them are coming out early too. They're not even like, they're not even gonna wait. I mean, oh, god. Yeah. oh god, literally I just realized... February is just like bumbo- like oh, stacked. Don't even fucking remind me, dude. Elden Ring, King of Fighters, Fifteen, Horizon Two are all in the oh, same. One. <laughs> so wait, also, I just I was like, let's look at Unite. Let's see what they've added to Unite. It, it hasn't been that long since I played Elks right so, Arena. Right. I, I look. Yeah. Let's see. They added Desudai. They added Greedent. They added, oh, yeah. they added another grass, another grass type. I'm like, excuse me. When did oh, all of this and then Serena is coming as well? I saw. I'm like, excuse me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like. Wait, how's that work? I'm wait, like, wait, wait. As in, like when? The, the the Pokemon trainer Serena or no Serena? It, it's Su- the one with the T. The oh, Pokemon. Oh, oh, okay. The one okay. with the weird long legs and the poofy yeah, hips. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. The one who looked yeah. like the leg lamp. That was yeah. Uh, Guard of War number two, the one that we should be afraid of. Yeah. Was that six or seven generation? Either or. Uh, like. seven or no? I think it's six. Hmm. Okay. Man, I don't. I yeah, X and Y was a blur. <laughs> I didn't realize they added this many. Because I feel like just like it was like a month or two ago they announced. No, dude, Mammoth Unite's flying. been out for a long time now. Oh my god! Yeah, no, wait, it's been September. Yeah, right. September is when uh, Mam- Mammoth Wine made it in. September. September is when they launched the mobile version. We've had Pokemon Unite since like. Oh, I know that. I'm April... saying April. I'm saying since the last time I played. Yeah. It's like good god, they added in so much already. Oh my but god! Yeah. yeah. This is tired. Speaking year. of adding, speaking of adding things in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that's like that's a good segue. I'm good at this. Oh, mm, um, <laughs> write down, write down. Yeah, right, right. Mark, write you're good at that. You're good at that. I'm good at adding in product placement. Mark, write it down. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll <laughs> I'm write sorry. It down. I'm sorry. I'll write it down. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what I'm sorry, sorry. Is, Speaking of adding things in, uh, next Friday, December 10th, we are going to get our first edition, our first new update to the nintendo 64 online app oh as part of your nintendo switch online plus expansion pack wow i can't believe i have to say it like that but (laughs) it is paper mario the first paper mario yeah first paper mario it i'm gonna start with the good i'm gonna start with the good okay because it's not fair if i just jump into the problem right okay because the problem isn't paper mario paper mario is amazing that game is just fantastic there's a reason people love that game and Thousand Year Door compared to like literally the rest of the series. I, and I don't even hate Origami King. I lo- I liked Origami King a lot. Me too. But man, Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door are like some of the best RPGs of all time. Just so straight memorable. up. Yeah. I I loved every single moment like when I played it back in the day and I I beat Paper Mario on on an actual 64 like I want to say like three years ago, four years ago. Mm. So just just because I pulled out my sixty four and I was like, "What do I want to play?" and I just started playing it. I was gonna ask if you had a physical copy of that. I do. It is one of my favorite games. Nice. I played it. Paper Mario is the game in that. 
like for me personally, it was the gateway to play RPGs. Oh, Obviously, nice. I played I played Pokemon, but right. I didn't know I didn't know <laughs> Pokemon was an RPG. <laughs> Is it weird that I don't like view Pokemon too much as an RPG versus others? Even though it's, it, it's literally it is. <laughs> it is an RPG. You experience points you are gained when you do turn based battles. Yeah, that's just how it is. But when I played Paper Mario, it was the gateway for me because it was like, oh, it's like Pokemon, and then I just kept playing it and understood like oh this is like turn base and this is what you do this and the strategy involved like i i i it clicked with me and then that's when i started going okay i have my i got a game boy advance like a couple years later and i started playing a bunch of rpgs there ah uh, yeah so so paper mario is the is the game that got me to love rpgs especially turn based ones um i can't wait to play it on my switch rip your joy cons if you if you're going to use joy cons <laughs> Why is there um, some button inputs that uh we should be aware of? I'll uh, I'll use the right stick on my Xbox controller. Uh, the only input is the hammer when you have to hold back and then let go. Oh uh, oh man, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, though, it's it's really not that bad. Oh, okay. Some some rotating, but <laughs> it's not. Like... It's but not like <laughs> not Mario Party like to the point where oh it's gonna God. break it. Oh yeah, when they show you the message, hey, don't actually don't don't. Put your palm on it. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I remember when we streamed that, and I just fucking looked at you all, and I was like, "Don't do it if you want to lose." And just <laughs> <laughs> fucking went straight for it. But yeah, Paper Mario is great. I hope everybody who has the expansion pack enjoys it. It's great. But the problem isn't Paper Mario. <laughs> the the issue is that it's only one game. It's only the one, huh? Out of all these the, other ones, the, they promise Majora's Mask, it, Banjo. Th- the, the problem is this Kirby it's I, I knew I knew you were going to bring up Kirby because <laughs> that's what uh, that's what Steffi said Steffi said that same thing Steffi was like what the fuck that's not Kirby 64 <laughs> <laughs> and I was like I mean you you're not wrong, wrong. <laughs> and I was like you ain't wrong but the the point is um there's only one game after when did the when did the expansion pack come out October late uh, late October it was right something October yeah yeah so um a, a month and a half with nothing and they're only giving us one game Here, here's my issue it's not that it's it's not that it's only one N64 game because I I kind of assumed they were gonna treat 64 games like they were royalty. <laughs> I mean, they put them on a fifty dollars tier, so. Yo, highness. Well, I mean, it's true. There, so the sixty four may have aged poorly, so, like for the most part, but the games that are good are like genre defining. So they're gonna treat those games like royalty. But you you realize there's three other consoles, right? <laughs> like you could have added like a Genesis. You could have thrown a Sonic one. <laughs> At, at the very least, because that's my issue is like we're paying for the subscriptions. We're paying to have these games, right? And we only get one game after almost two months of nothing. One. One. Granted, it's one amazing game, but it's one game. Like, I feel like if you're going to put something like Paper Mario, like that huge, you should supplement it with like smaller titles. Yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying, hey, let's just drop Banjo, fucking Kirby, Mario, Paper Mario, and F Zero in the same day. That's not what I mean. Like, I, I understand people are like, oh, I just want a bunch of 64 games. That's not gonna happen. The 64's library was like what 300 and something games. Yeah. Compared not- to the NES, which is like a thousand. Yeah, they're not gonna mass drop that. They're not gonna mass drop that entire like game list they promised you. We're not gonna see Banjo till 2022. Wait, when run is actually no. redeeming the Kirby, actually. Give me a second. Oh, God, he's bringing up Kirby. Uh, they do you <laughs> dirty, but it's understandable if they can't drop every single, like, N64 game. It's true. It, but it's true, though. But do you know what the thing is? They have other consoles. They could supplement. Let, let, they can go, hey, here's, the, here's Paper Mario. Then here's, like, one Genesis game and one Super game, and then that's it, right? Or they could do Paper Mario, maybe one NES game. They they have three other consoles they could release games for. I don't understand why they just decide, hey, fuck it, it's just Paper Mario. Because everything else makes too much sense. It makes too much sense. It's too easy. 
but like that's what's offending people if you if you go online everyone is upset about this they're not upset about paper mario because that game is amazing right it's just simply they're upset like where are the yeah. other ones <laughs> they're upset because it's like really that's it one game i don't know like there's so many other game titles they could just throw in just because like genesis alone like genesis alone there's still a lot of sega first party like i said sonic 1 isn't even on the service <laughs> sonic 2 is but sonic 1 is not even there you could have just thrown us that and i would have been content somewhat yeah i feel like the, the the biggest issue though is just that we don't know how they're gonna do this I don't like being left in the dark when it comes to this kind of stuff because we just don't know what's going to happen. Mm. Like we like I wish they would have at least told us, "Hey, maybe one month you'll get an N64 game, mm. one month you'll get a Genesis game." And if people had that kind of like expectation, then we wouldn't be as mad. Yeah. But I guess there's something else that's going on. Either that or they just don't really have like good level of communication to like the public about this kind of stuff. No, they don't. And it's kind of weird because they started... Okay, remember back in 2018 when they even implemented this? Yes. They implemented the online service in general and they only gave us NES games? They What was it? The starting lineup was 20 games and then every th month they gave us three games. <laughs> like, they were giving us, like... They were giving us one big title and some supplements. Like, they gave us Metroid one month with, like, Super Dodgeball and I think it was, like, NES Tournament Golf. Fine. Those are, those are supplement games. I, some people like them more than others, but those are technically supplement games to Metroid. Makes sense. You know, Ninja Gaiden, and then they threw in, like, Twin B and something else. I don't remember. But the point is, like, they threw in multiple games every month. Then they got to the point, they got to the Super Nintendo, and then they were like, well, we can only give you a couple games every three months. <laughs> and, you know, to be fair, the first Super Nintendo update was godlike. They gave us like, what was it? Breath of Fire 2, Kirby Superstar, um, Super Punch-Out, and I'm, I think I'm forgetting one, but they, I was like, damn, that's a hell of a start, like, starting update. And then it just declined. <laughs> it just declined in quality. And it just kept going. Until we fucking got Bomboozle. And I'll never <laughs> forgive them for that. I'll never forgive them for this. I will never forgive them for giving us Bomb <laughs> fucking Boozle. Eggman would Why? say. <laughs> no way. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 re it's real though. Like, if you would have, if it was... If it was Super Mario RPG and Bomboozle, all right, sure. All right, all right. But they gave us, in that same update, it was Claymates, Bomboozle, and Jelly Boy. Tell me which one is the, <laughs> is the major game. Because <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> and, it, and it sucks because I don't like trashing on games like that because I was like, oh, three games I don't know about. That's cool. I'm going to try them out. And then you tried them out? And then I tried them out. <laughs> Turns Clay out. <laughs> Claymates is okay. It's not the worst game I've ever played. It's it's playable. I think I want to sit down with it a little longer. Um, Jelly Boy is a thing. That was, that was a game of some sort. Certainly. Jelly Boy. <laughs> yeah, Jelly Boy is a game of some sort. It, it it's is a, a game. game. So it runs at 50 hertz. And so it's a little slower than normal. But... Hmm. It's it is fine. a game. Yeah, it's a game. It's it's okay. It's a generic 2D platformer is what I like to call it. And then Bomboozle is Bomboozle. And you know what? I, listen, Bomboozle isn't even like the worst game in the world. It's fine. It's a puzzle game of some sort. But like, why? <laughs> why would you even waste our time with that? But why? And have they updated so, anything since? Uh no, it, it here's that's the I was just gonna bring that up. <laughs> the next big problem is how long has it been since they've updated anything other than this N64 update? Like like disregard or, the initial log of the 64 Genesis games. Worry about that later. 
<laughs> worry about what later? <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. Like, they're like, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Dead ass. I mean, the last Super Nintendo update was July. Well, uh... <laughs> like, what? You couldn't even... Like, at least one game, dude. <laughs> one game to, like, keep people going. Because they, they have already assured us... Like, I've said this previously on podcasts before, but, like, they're going to update NES and Super games still. That's not going to stop. Eventually. But What's... we need some kind of schedule... Like we need to know ahead of time. We don't not just a surprise. Next week we're throwing a new Paper Mario. Do I hear roadmap? I mean, yeah. that, that'd be beneficial, but they might just shadow drop things, just like they did with the Bluetooth edition. They're always gonna shadow drop things. Nintendo. Yeah, like what? We're we gonna wait till Kirby and the Forgotten Lands comes out to get Kirby sixty four. Like, are you kidding me? Damn, it's Nintendo. We're talking about since when do they what? announce what they're gonna do? Wouldn't you want to have Kirby 64 on your console ready to go before Forgotten Lands so that people can just keep playing? Like, I don't know. That's just me. I guess I just, I can think better than they can, but. <laughs> Nintendo will sooner send you a decoder ring than tell you exactly what they're going to do. The, the fucking Nintendo will send me the ninjas before they <laughs> tell me anything. <laughs> they're, they're already is, coming is to Nintendo my house as we speak. It is a Nintendo trade the market secret. Mm. Like uh obviously there are the ninjas are already on the way, so you know. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I gotta be careful. Coming to beat your ways. Wait. Hmm? What is that? They got him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> A black Mitsubishi was seen driving from Phil's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No, uh um... I, I don't know. I'm a little... I know I'm obviously more offended than a lot of other people. I I really do deeply care about, like, the preservation of certain games. And Nintendo's in, in particular... I mean, goddamn, they're Nintendo. They have the biggest legacy content of all time. Like, you're, you're talking about 30 years worth of games that they're just sitting on. <laughs> like... <laughs> I get it. I get it. People. Some people are gonna be like, "Well, I have my N64. Like, why would I want to? Why do I care? Like, well, good for you, you man. Not everybody has, yeah, not everybody you, has an N64. It's great for you. I mean, I have my N64, but it's not plugged in at all times. It's just it convenient be. for me to have it on my Switch. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. Like, I don't know. I look. Like I said, I look at my Switch as like my wall-in-one Nintendo console. Yeah, and then it's also the the local multiplayer console really and so i just have like if everybody wants to pop in mario kart 64 boom it's right there you want to play mario kart 8 boom it's right there whenever f-zero x comes out there you go mm. this advertisement for the steam deck right now yeah well the steam deck is a lot different though it's also <laughs> delayed I know, too it's, it's, i know but it's pretty much gonna be oh that yeah kind the, of thing. it did get delayed huh oh, oh. They actually delayed. i did not hear about that yeah they delayed it till uh early 2022 that's fair. Yeah, it was supposed to come out this month with like the highest tier. But I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind if they said it's just being delayed for quality assurance. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Uh no, I think it's just because of chip shortage. They're just trying to get the chips in. That's fair. There was that, yeah. yeah. It's chip shortage. It's it's a thing, dude. Uh, how, why do you think it's so hard to get a console? We gotta make more chips. Yep. But I don't know. I feel like if they were to do one sixty four game a month and then add like a Genesis game or rotate the Genesis Super and NES, that would be fine. Yeah. Like I said, there's so many first party games that they're still missing through all those consoles. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and tell you Urban Champion is good, <laughs> but it's a first party Nintendo game. I just already expect that to be there. Mm. I guess like it has to be like they have to have like a division specifically for the different consoles. And, you know, those parties would have to, like, communicate with other staff about, like, when can they, like, release this kind of information. If it's always, like, a variable thing where it's like, oh, we have no idea when we'll be able to get, like, say, F-Zero out and just perfectly working. Uh, but we're just working yeah. on it. So. I mean, oh, some somebody pointed out that this could be, this could only, this probably is happening because they want to fix the 64 emulator, which mm. if some people don't know. The N64 emulator is not exactly uh perfect on the Switch. 
I heard a little bit uh, about that. Yeah, NES, Super Nintendo, and Genesis, all great. They all work fine. Uh, my friend James, uh, N- Nico Ark. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nico Ark is very into Genesis games. Like, he knows that console like the back of his hand. Uh, he started playing them, and he was telling me that the emulation is spot on. That's good. For yeah, like the no nothing sounds off, nothing seems off. So good, but the N sixty four definitely has some issues here and there, and it seems to be a game by game case. Because mm. uh, Star Fox sixty four, beautiful, it runs perfectly. Sin and Punishment also runs really well. Mario sixty four suffers a little bit from input delay. <laughs> And the worst offender is uh, Ocarina of Time. What's wrong with Ocarina of Time? Ocarina of Time suffers from input delay and it doesn't render fog properly. Oh, oh, okay. And and I don't know if you know this. I, I'm sure you know this about an N64, right? You use fog to cover up a lot of the game because that's kind of how it was back in the day to, to make sure that it loads and runs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the fog doesn't render properly, which means a lot of the imagery and a lot of the art direction in Ocarina of Time is a little off. Mm. I think I brought this up in a podcast before, but uh, the water temple where you're fighting Shadow Link. Yeah, that's they. That's all. Yeah, fog. they. Yeah, it's all fog, and they use the fog for the water, so it looks like you're like floating on smoke. Mm-hmm. It's not there. It's not there. <laughs> it's it just water. Like? Oh. It's just water textures. Oh, then you got oh. fog and see it these and it's too good yeah so i Way feel like good. i so, feel like if they're gonna i think they're just trying to fix it because i think okay. uh doug bowser has heard has already heard he's already responded to this <laughs> so you said doug bowser is hurt i was like i'm sure he is hurt he said, this is some bullshit. <laughs> no he's heard he's heard the complaints and he said that rest assured that they don't like to release stuff that's not quality so so he's gonna hurt. try and fix it okay they hurt doug bowser they hurt so Bowser I, himself. I hope it does get fixed. Oh. It doesn't bother me in particular. Like I do love the N64, but you'd have to you would have to give me like a side by side screenshot for me to to actually notice that. Mm. He said they hurt Bowser himself after the Wah! when you throw him in the fucking 64. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. Uh, I'm hoping Paper Mario actually runs well. Paper Mario is actually a notorious, like, hard game to emulate. Oh, so, okay. I'm hoping that game runs well. Because I will notice if something's off in that game. I okay. played that game, like, to death. More than Thousand Year Door. I actually like Damn. 64 more than Thousand Year Door. Oh, my God. I know. I'm one of the very rare few that do. But it's a nostalgic reason for me. So, But, yeah, uh, Paper Mario is out next week if anybody wants to play it. Nice. It's good. Um, It'll be my first time actually trying it. Ooh, ooh, I'm jealous of you, honestly. And it's I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Like, I'm not going to spoil anything weird or crazy. But the opening, uh, like the first opening thing, Mm. as, as a kid, that game, like, it struck a chord with me immediately because it starts off cheery. It starts off, it's Mario, you know. And then you fight Bowser. And I'm like, oh, whatever, it's Bowser. I'm, I played Mario games before. He's going to get wrecked. And then you lose. Oh. You're like, really? Yeah, you're oh. supposed to lose. And I was like, <laughs> what? And he like <laughs> literally destroys Mario. Oh my God. Yeah, so like, when I'm like, I'm a kid and I'm like, are you what? are you winning, son? <laughs> and, no. and yeah, that, that part always struck a chord with me. Like it's so crazy. And I didn't even spoil anything. That's just the opening. <laughs> My God. So can't wait. I'm I'm definitely gonna probably play through it. I don't know if I want to stream it. I'm not sure yet. I think. Well, I, I know that you're going through the Halo marathon, so. Yeah, of, hopefully if I if I pending. if I end up streaming tonight, I will definitely finish Halo 2, but nice. I already done Reach. Yeah, I'm done Reach and 1 already, but 2 mm. is I'm almost done with 2. I'm at the uh since all of us have beaten it. I'm at the part where Arbiter gets like uh I don't which, want, do he, want... he get, I don't want to say betrayed, but him and him and Chief meet 
in yeah. with oh, the yeah, tentacle that. monster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, high charity. Yeah. Hi, there it is. Thank you. High charity. And then uh, right now I'm playing Chief's part where he gets teleported to the Covenant base. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that was too fucking good. Stop. <laughs> Run! 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 <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I'm almost done though. There's only like three, four missions left. Okay, nice. And I want to start up Halo 3 and 3, 4. 3 and 4 are not that long. ODST is a little bit longer, but that's about it. Oh, the one grunts, the one grunts on the final level of Halo Three that he oh finds, just sitting there begging, just sitting there begging for his life. He's like, ah. And you're almost guaranteed to lose if you just stick around. <laughs> yep, but it's so worth it. Yeah, yeah. Paper Mario's next week. Uh, speaking of preservation, it's preservation, you can preserve your energy by using code Motion at gfuel.com. You got to give it to me. That was nice one, as fuck. One, one day. One day, one day. <laughs> one day. You know what? Uh, before we jump into any other topics, I wanted to tell Phil specifically that um, I was, you know, I it was, it's about Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, I finally pulled the trigger <laughs> and looked up on oh. eBay for uh, a new copy for that oh, one. Oh, Xenoblade 2? Yes. Oh, no. Um, It was only... How much did you pay? It's only $10 more than retail. Really? Yeah. It went down in price. I'm sure it's just because the Pyra Mithra hype died down finally. Oh, I see. Because that, it's, that's it's, what raised it. I was going to say, because I was, in cross comparison, I just looked at East 8 and I was like, Jesus, dude. Smash equals sales. Oh, yeah. East, yeah. East is a series that if you don't get it at first, you're not going to get it later. <laughs> Got you. But that, uh, unless, like, you just, I, unless you just force it. What? I say, if you don't get it, you're not getting it later. I'm just like, unless you just force yourself to get it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then at that point, you're spending, like, money. Money. <laughs> you're spending big money. Um, I almost did. Uh, this is before the pandemic actually hit. Mm. I had ordered E8. <laughs> oh. And it was a $60 price tag still. So I was like, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but that was back in the day. And that, that game is the reason I love the E-Series so much. Because I went through the pandemic and I started playing a lot more of the series. Nice. Like, I ordered a Turbo Graphics Mini. Just so I can play uh, <laughs> East Books One and Two, the Turbo Graphics versions. Was that like separate from the actual like console itself too? Like as far as what just, do you mean? Like playing those two. Like uh, you, you ordered the Turbo Graphics and then there's the actual games themselves, right? No, the Turbo Graphics Mini is like the other mini consoles. It's built in with games. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. And so okay. one of the games is East Books One and Two. It's a it's Book One and Two is one game together. Okay. And uh, it was the game that has CD, like, built-in quality. Oh. So it, it has, like, it was the first version of East Books 1 and 2 to have, like, CD audio and voice acting. And even though it's 16-bit sprites. That's, whoa. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a really cool version. The music slaps. Um, oh, shit. The music fucking slaps. But realistic, hey, and, and in my opinion, it's the best version of East 1 and 2. But the supplement like version that you could always play that is still just as good is the Chronicles version, the one that's on Steam. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, is East... Xenoblade on Steam. No, not Xenoblade. East. Uh -huh. Oh. East East Chronicle East One and Two Chronicles is essentially the remake. It's the one that's officially canon now. Oh, okay. Pog. Yeah. So uh, every every time Falcom has remade the games, those are the ones that are canon. Not not any of the originals anymore. Mm, okay. Yeah, because there's like two East Fours. <laughs> two. Yeah, there's East Four, the Mask of the Sun, hmm. Dawn of the Sun, and the the Mask of something, and then the Dawn of something else. Praise the Sun. Oh, the Dawn of East. Sorry. Um, hmm. they're not canon at all. Oh, okay. What what they did when they remade it into Memories of Celsetta is they Melody took memories, yes. pieces from both. And then put them together and said, "Fuck it, that's that's East Four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. But Xenoblade, you bought Xenoblade Chronicles two? Yeah. Not the expansion. Not not the expansion now. Oh my god, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, it was like the Golden Country. 
Torna, Torna the Golden Country. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That would be gonna cool. love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to get the base game. I've I've not even finished the movie Chronicles one. I know Lord Nookington hates me for it, but <laughs> he that's literally one of his favorite games. But Xenoblade Chronicles two, I have finished. Uh, it's great. You're gonna love it. Mm. But yeah, that's all I wanted to add. I know that we have a couple of things on the docket. I actually really wanted to talk about this one too. That would be. That would be. It would be something about PlayStation. That's exactly what I was going to lead into. PlayStation. (laughs) PlayStation. Man, I missed that. It was Uh, PlayStation. But, uh, Mark, you have Game Pass, right? Correct. Nice. How's it treating you? Very well. (laughs) What if I were to tell you? Don't you dare. That there's rumors going around. Don't you dare. No, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no that uh, <laughs> that PlayStation seems to be going that way too. Oh, oh no, that if, 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 if it's anything like I was just like, don't tell me bad news. No, 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 no. It was a segue. That, segue. that doesn't surprise me at all. It doesn't surprise me either. Um, so the let me find the actual article so I don't get my info wrong. Okay. I don't want to. I mean, the PS5 controller is like a is like a fusion between the PlayStation controller and the Xbox controller, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, I have it here. Well, yeah, I don't yeah, know about I, all that. Yeah. But... Well, it definitely has a fuller grip. Why are you booing me? <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right. I believe this news was coming out from Bloomberg. Bloomberg's at oh. it again. Yeah, Bloomberg's at it again. But it's getting a lot of traction this time than, you know, Switch Pro stuff. But then again, that's kind of hit or miss. Right? Hold on, give me a minute. I'm actually kind of looking actual... at it too. Because the thing is... Here like... it is. Here it is. Uh, so, mm. according to Bloomberg, which is the first uh, report, the first reporter to actually like talk about it, mm. it says, Sony Group's Corp's PlayStation division is planning a new subscription. R- granted, this is rumors, mind you, everybody. Service to compete with the rival Microsoft Corp's popular Xbox Game Pass. The service, codenamed Spartacus, now that's Goddamn. just a fucking dick move. Yeah. Um, will allow PlayStation owners to pay a monthly fee for access to a catalog of modern and classic games. I'll get to that in a minute. They codenamed it Spartacus. I should be okay. They deserve to get kicked in the dick right now. Sit, said the people who the asked people. not to be identified because they were not authorized to speak to the press about the plans. The offering will likely be available on the Smash Hit PS4, which has sold more than 160 million units, and it's elusive successor to the PS5. Oh, right there, right. Yeah, right now. No, 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 no. So elusive successor is right. The the yeah, it's elusive successor. That's how they write. That's how they write it. I just it is expected me. to launch in spring. This girl don't listen. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> I. You, you could wait. You're impatient right now. <laughs> I'm gonna, mute, I'm gonna mute my mic. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's a, it's suspected to launch in spring of 2022, and it will be merging PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now. So oh, those wow. will actually be gone. Oh, so in that case, my PlayStation Plus is gonna be either null and void, or it might get upgraded depending on what's going on. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Because currently, PlayStation Plus is required for most online multiplayer games and offers free monthly titles. With PlayStation Now users to stream and download older titles. So, all right. So, essentially, let's now that we I read the article report, our our like brief summary of it is it's a it's Xbox Game Pass, but on PlayStation. Yeah. The the biggest difference though is that supposedly there are tiers for your payments. Yes. So I've heard too. And you there's a couple of different tiers from what I'm hearing, but realistically i want to talk about the highest tier okay the highest tier is supposed to include whatever games they put on ps4 ps5 and then literally include ps1 ps2 ps3 and psp games that's all those that's all that's all of them on that highest tier supposedly supposedly okay 
um rip vita but <laughs> damn they couldn't they I mean, couldn't they they could vita runs on the playstation tv which is on a tv anyways like, i you know. yeah yeah but either way the point is so far that sounds enticing right i my only question is are they streamed or are they actual native downloads because i don't know if i'm down with it if it's stream like we we mean by stream it's kind of like um, like, like, like fucking like, stadia like, like cloud base oh no because that's how it is on playstation now there are ps3 games you can play on playstation now really because but they okay, are cloud based huh because i mean like i heard that they used to have that as far as just like having like the older games but i just didn't know like the difference between like actually downloading like this digital copy or just like yeah cloud streaming it so playstation now started as streaming straight up it was okay. ps4 and ps3 games that you could stream okay over time they realized that that was dumb so they uh, ended up streaming ps4 or you can download ps4 games depending on the game some of them are mm. still stream only mm. but ps3 games were re always relegated to stream they were never relegated to a native download mm. and so it my, my question is do i have I want to make sure I can download these titles. Because listen, if that's the case, I'm all in. I'm all in more than Xbox Game Pass. And that's only because of those legacy titles. Yeah. Because I need to... I also want to know if it's going to work like Xbox. Uh, where it's essentially just downloads. But if you have the disc, you can play it. Right. But then... But then the 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 part that kind of ruins that entire like notion for me is that they're adding PSP games. There's no way to pop in a PSP game into a disc drive like that. So yeah. So your only the only options would be to be able to digitally download it, or it really is just like streamed from some other thing that runs them. And that that would kill it for me. I would not be happy about that at all. Hmm. And it sucks because, like I said earlier, Nintendo has the biggest legacy content, right? But if you take Nintendo out of the equation between PlayStation and Xbox, PlayStation has literally generations worth of content as well. Yeah. There are so many, like, genre-defining titles on the PS1. I don't, don't even get me started on PS2. And then PS3 has some really good titles, too. Stuff that isn't remastered, stuff that isn't remade. Like, I mean, damn, what what's a good example? Max Payne 3 is on PS3. That's a good mm -hmm. game. Uh there's some fighting games on there. Street Fighter 4. Yeah, there's but mm -hmm. but then Street Fighter 4 has a PS4 version. But the point is, the point is there are some games on there that are still there. Like Ratchet and Clank a crack in time. Oh yeah. I guess all there the you go. Games, really. Tool Tools of Destruction. Yeah. Ra all for one. Yeah. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Damn. Those are all PS3 games, yeah. So it's it's just weird. I, I really hope it's not stream. But if it isn't stream and it's native downloads, I'm kind of down. I'm down I'm down with the service. Quick question. Isn't Darksiders also like PlayStation 3 or is it something else? I could have Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Darksiders one and two were PS3 and 360 games, sorry. Hmm, okay. But they were they've been remastered already to PS4, so oh, okay. Yeah. The point is, like, they'll use this for, like, certain titles. And I just want to know... Like, I need more info. I can't just go based off a of rumor, essentially. And it's just an interesting topic because, you know, Sony... In Sony's entire history, and I, I know all the Sony ponies are about to hate me for this. Um, Like, Sony's entire history is based off plagiarism. <laughs> like, think about it they like the whole nintendo playstation that was supposed to happen they went off and did their own thing you know nintendo 64 comes out an analog stick they gotta add dual shot they gotta add the analogs you know rumble features they gotta add oh. all this other shit motion comes out from the wii they gotta make playstation move <laughs> yeah. you know peace oculus facebook and does oculus they they gotta do psvr like i mean granted though they 
I think out of the three, Sony's the only one who's doing like VR stuff like directly. Yeah, on a console. Yeah. They're the only ones. They're the only ones. Uh, but and they're still continuing. Next year's supposed to get PSVR too. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. That's gonna be interesting to see. The PS5's native VR. So I can't wait to see it because uh I'm down. I was it wasn't really like keen on it at first, but once I got my PSVR on PS4, it's like ah, I, I, I was down. I, I like it because it there are certain games that nobody knows what to do with a VR. <laughs> it, it's like playing PS1 all over again because nobody knows what to do with the technology. So you're going to just get a random bunch of like experimental games. And you're just going to have like the weirdest time. It's going to be great. I played games like rail shooters, like uh, Pixel Gear, I think is what it's called. The game is great. Mm. It's you're just standing there shooting gallery, essentially. It's great. I played like crazy story games like blood and truth oh yeah okay yeah i played golf <laughs> <laughs> i played moss like mm. that I, it, a top-down zelda game where you're the camera like come on like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> super hot vr is great oh um, yeah talk and nobody explodes oh that game is incredible like there's there's a lot of really cool games and I want to see them do more with it. But the point is they're built on plagiarism. So they were obviously going to copy Xbox Game Pass eventually. If eventually it was going to happen. But I just want to see what exactly they're going to do. Like they I don't know. Sony's not Another another big concern isn't even the retro games at this point. It's do you honestly think Sony's gonna drop games like God of War Ragnarok day one free? Part of that that's part of that subscription? I, I don't know. Cause the issue is the reason they never did the pass to begin with was because they know they have the bigger exclusives. Like they have God of War, they have Spider-Man, they have Horizon coming, Gran Turismo 7. Do you think they're gonna drop those just day one? Fuck it. Or do you think they're going to just have shorter windows of like being able to play them? Ah, uh, that that is rough. I guess with Microsoft, it just seems like a no brainer. Like, of course, like they've said it outright that like our first parties are going to show up day one, and for the most part, none of them have been taken off. So it's different with Sony for sure. So I yeah that yeah Microsoft doesn't really have much to lose. It's not. They have a lot of first party companies now, but when they started Game Pass, it's not like they had that many games to begin with first party. Yeah. And even then, they don't drop first party games like crazy, not like PlayStation does. So it's just a little I guess it's we'd have to wait and see. Is yeah. essentially what it is. And mm-hmm. I am excited at the idea of it. I I need to know more info about everything though. Me too. Because if I can make my PS5 my all-in-one PlayStation console. That's it. That's it. You got me. Like, that's why I'm so fucking mad at Nintendo. <laughs> like, I need them to keep, like, updating those online apps on Switch. Because my Xbox, which is sitting right next to me, my Series X, mm. is my all-in-one Xbox. I have my 360 and my Xbox One unplugged. Because my Series X plays all the games I want. Right. And my original games as well. Like, I have a library of a bunch of Xbox OG games. They're all installed on this console. This is my one and only Xbox. That's amazing. If PlayStation can do that, and all of my discs can just chill and, like, look pretty. Like, damn. Damn, dude. Like, getting getting games like Twisted Metal 1 and 2 on the PS5. I can't. I can't even think. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me, though. Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait until like some news actually like surfaces. And like, wasn't this rumor like very, very recent? Like maybe even this morning. Uh, yeah, actually, I think it was okay. this morning that, that it broke out. I'm wondering if PlayStation will speak on this like at all in response, whether they say like, "Oh no." This, that's not us and then literally Shane. the next then literally the next day they're like okay here's what's going to happen we're gonna have the exact same thing as yesterday <laughs> yeah they probably won't speak on it damn no confirmation or denial of it 
So we're just going to be waiting. Yeah, we're going to be waiting for a while. Yeah. But hey, when it comes, it comes. I think Sony has bigger problems. I think they need to launch a little bit more PS5s than and actually than actually implement this just yet, you know? Mm. But to be fair, if it's going to be on PS4 as well, then sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's all I got to say about it. Yeah. I guess, yeah, there's not really much we can elaborate on until, like, some other things, like, come up for it, so... Okay. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all the gaming stuff I had that written down. Mm -hmm. I do have movie stuff. I, I finally caught up mostly i haven't watched eternals yet oh yeah. i know i'll get there eventually but i have caught up for the rest of mcu uh the weekend of thanksgiving that sunday i was just at home all day and i was like i was just talking to katrina and i was like the fuck what are we doing we have disney plus and we just sat down literally from like 10 in the morning all the way till eight at night <laughs> just watching everything <laughs> Um, so I watched Black Widow. Oh, nice. Finally. I know. It's okay. <laughs> it was all right. It's all right. You know, yeah. like, no, it's not bad. Um, at least you got probably, a movie. Yeah, it could have been better, but Red Guardian's cool. Yeah. I kind of wish they uh, elaborated a little more on how he even got the super serum, but yeah, that's, that's, it's kind of a shame that he was really just the butt of everything. <laughs> yeah. But he, it, that, yeah, movie's all right. I, it was much better than I thought it was going to be. Was it worth the two-year delay? No, but it was it was all right. Uh, and then I watched Shang-Chi. Nice. How'd you like that one? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, dog, that movie is amazing. Shang-Chi is top tier as fuck. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. um, every, everybody in the cast was amazing. Um... The choreography of the fighting dude. It felt like watching Marvel's Kung Fu movie. Oh. It's so good. It goes it's hand so good, your... dude. It goes hand. I I fucking loved every minute of it. Like all of the scenes just reminded me of watching old Jackie Chan like Kung Fu movies. God, dude, it was so good. And then the story's really cool. The setup's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, that secret ending was wild. Uh <laughs> yeah, it really was. That secret ending is definitely wild because I, I think I know what it's referring to, but then I also don't. Okay, I have no idea at all. I just noticed that Bruce is like re reverted back to his normal form. So, yeah, I think it it's got to be referring to Kane the Conqueror, right? Um, because it's talking about it's talking about years and years ago, and now that we have the multiverse, yeah, or it's referring to who the rings actually belong to in the comics. Who do they belong to in the comics, Mark? Since you were muted, a race of a race of dragon aliens, a race of dragon aliens. Okay, well, I'm the conqueror. It. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, not Kane the Conqueror. Uh well, either way, it's got to be something crazy because it's got to do something with the MCU. I mean, this could be their chance to introduce one of the villains from that race. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, oh, you missed it. I don't know. Did you catch me talking about Black Widow? I heard everything. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Fuck you, Mark. Anyway, <laughs> I told you I'll I was, do it. I just, I was just sitting here being frustrated, being frustrated because she's like, "You could have vacuumed earlier." I was like, "That's not the point." Um, <laughs> like you're not wrong, but that's not the point. <laughs> yeah, so I caught up with Black Widow, caught up with Shang Chi. That was fun. Um, and then we watched all of Hawkeye. Nice. Uh, I think that Justin hasn't done. I know Justin hey, hasn't hey, watched hey, episode hey. three, but <laughs> at least one and two. One and two. It's all okay, set up. dude. The beginning of episode one, um, definitely is the reason I love the MCU. It's like, how the fuck is it so perfect that they can connect all of these fucking movies and shows? They made a musical just for this series. It's hilarious. So, I know. I saw it. So I funny. can do this all <laughs> day. But like Smash. the fact that Smash. the fact that they even reference. Uh... And one for one shot of like Avengers from 2012, or like the, yeah. that movie. Oh yep. my god, dude, that's crazy. Smash. I I I wanted to say that like I really like what they're doing because of it. It ties in with consequences to like 
previous events. Like, we look at Avengers and like, oh, that was a fun movie. And we just move on to the next thing. But there's like so many ramifications. Obviously, like Endgame kind of like linked back to it. And now Hawkeye like shows a different perspective of, of just the tragedy that was the attack on New York. That yeah. Happened. And it's that's the, fact, it, that's the fact of it shows his consequences of when he was the Ronin. Yeah, yes. I was gonna get to that, but that that's like the main plot. Mm. <laughs> the the whole main plot is that he's essentially having to suffer the shit that he did as Ronin. Yeah. That that's like the basic like in layman's terms, like it's he's suffering from the fact that he has to deal with all of the consequences he did as Ronin. Yeah. And Kate Bishop is just somebody who got tangled into it. Mm -hmm. Even though the comics is way more than that, but we'll put that aside. Sure, but this is the MCU and they got to tie it in casually somewhere. Oh, I know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like they're doing their uh, own thing. But episode one was cool. It did. It focused a lot on Kate Bishop, which is kind of weird considering it's I, called Hawkeye. But I know she's going to be the next Hawkeye. I know. Yeah. I know the whole gist. I'm just saying like, I was like, oh, okay couple of scenes with jeremy renner here and there but not really i think yeah i think their direction of it was fine especially since they put a little bit of a focus on hawkeye like retiring like actually they, the, the hearing aid was an interesting thing yeah that was that's what i want to bring up with the fact that like it's actually done a number to him where like he's obviously like much more experienced but it's not like or he hasn't lost <laughs> touch either but it's just the fact that like he's well, aging he's also one of the only people that didn't get blipped out of the fucking existence this is true. why he became the ronin yeah yeah in like, that five-year gap he was the ronin like literally watching him engage with the like his kids you forget this is a man who spent five years literally just out there killing people well killing not, people well people but the people they were were just they were, they were yeah they were brown less, crime yeah they were there were people who deserved it and there's also and there's uh, there's also some people that you find in episode three that make you want to cry it, okay it puts a different perspective on it but it's also okay there's it, it, man there's also I'm the so track mad that you didn't watch episode three you cry i know phil i know you cried in episode three you had to have i know you you had to i have. don't know if i cried well there's one part where i was like holy shit no way but they they definitely know it was at your heart strings. actually there's two parts there's two parts in that entire episode where i was like I fucking goddamn love the MCU. <laughs> Gosan puts in this pr into perspective the fact that the original Avengers is seven years old. I know. Wow. That's the craziest part. Man, that movie was hype when, when it came out in theater. It was like, oh my god, it's everyone. Right? And now we're going to the new generation. Well, right. yeah, yeah, we are going to the new generation. I think I think Phase Four is just meant to build up all of this again. Like they're building up all of these characters to make it to the next Avengers movie, whenever the fuck that is. We're yeah. we're years off from that. Yeah. But yeah, so far, not now that I thought one and two, like episode one and two for Hawkeye, were okay, but they were definitely story builders. Like they had to set up everything. Mm -hmm. Episode three, in my opinion, is where the ground like they hit the ground running. Okay. Like from here on out, it's it's probably gonna be bangers from like Okay. And we're, and it's just like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We're already halfway done through this show. Oh my god. Yeah, it's only six episodes. Oh god. So because they want to end it before December. If anybody doesn't know, Hawkeye takes place in Christmas. Yes, yeah, that's right. So they want to make sure it's done by December. Also, they want to make sure it's done before Bo uh, Book of Boba Fett starts. Oh, right. They don't want to overlap with that. Yeah, that's not something you want to overlap because those are two major shows. Mm -hmm. Man, that reminds but, me of Mandalorian. Man, that was such a good show. Anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, Book of Boba Fett is essentially a continuation of Mandalorian. Nice. Really. I look forward to it. Yeah. But they did confirm season three is happening for Mandalorian. It's just a matter of when. Okay. But Hawkeye is going to be cool. I can't wait to see next week's episode. Okay. Because they definitely ended it with like a, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I'm mad because they showed somebody and I was like, no fucking way is that him. <laughs> I didn't want to bring they, this. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, what were you going to say? I was going to say, I just remembered in the musical that they showed in episode one, the fact that they threw an Ant-Man in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> they fucking really did. He didn't even go there. <laughs> Technically speaking. <laughs> Technically speaking. No, that Hawkeye's doing good. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see the rest of it and okay. see where it leads. See how it ends. Because there's still one character that hasn't showed up and is confirmed to be there. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we can talk about it. That, that's not spoilers. She's compo- She's supposed to be in there. Yelena. Oh, yes. I was wondering if it yeah. was Lene. Lene. It's, it's Yelena. It's Yelena. Okay. The, the, the new Black Widow. Yeah, she's supposed to show up. Okay. But it's a matter of when. We're already halfway through the series and she hasn't shown up once. So I don't know when she's supposed to, but hopefully soon. Because hmm. uh, it's going to be badass when she's trying to fight Hawkeye. I, I was. Both, I, I wonder. The Hawkeyes. That. It's going to be interesting because obviously she's already given this perspective of like how Hawkeye is in relationship to like what happened to Natasha. So yeah, I don't know if she's going to take that at face value. Most likely they will just for the just the, just sheer thrill of it. But i i I personally hope that it doesn't come to like an actual fight and it's more like an alliance of sorts just for like whatever big baddie showing up in like hawkeye well or if the links to something else i don't know i don't know if this show is gonna have the contessa but we'll see okay we'll see but overall yeah there is there is a character that shows up kind of very briefly very briefly okay it's you don't even see the character you see his hand Oh, that? Whoa, that was I Mark. Like, I was like, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah, you see, you see his hand real quick, and that's it. And as soon as I saw the hand, I knew it. I was like, "No fucking way!" I mean, it's been rumored forever, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Okay, you'll see. Okay, it. okay, you'll see it when you when you see it. I, 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 I got to say, is Spider Man No Way Home is looking real good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I actually, I still haven't watched that trailer. I'm actually purposely holding off on watching that trailer. If at all, because I just want to watch this movie uh, and just be actually take it in by we everything. Can, we can talk a little bit about Spider Man No Way Home, just not not anything crazy. Okay, but the fact that so next week is the press release. They're gonna show the movie to the press. Oh my god! However, the big news is that Marvel and Sony have straight up told the press that they're not getting the full movie. Not the wait. What does that mean, though? Okay, so typically when you do a press release, this is for the reviews. This is for all the critics to watch the movie and then they get to see everything. They do their reviews on sites, whatever. Mm-hmm. They're not going to get that. Well, not in full. They're going to get a version of the movie that is not complete. So that way, no spoilers come out. Oh, Nothing. okay. So... They're, they're purposely going to get an edited version of the movie. That essentially will show them what the movie's about, but not show off any big major spoilers. Hmm. It's kind of weird. That's weird. It's like... Because now you're not reviewing the main movie, but they did assure everybody that the main movie will release on December 17th for everybody, including the press. I was going to say, so for the press then, it's just simply just them to be able to feed Mm -hmm. off that and just say like, okay, this is our impressions of it so far. Yeah, it's not a full review. We're just like only guys because know so far, only because they're legally required to. That's it. Oh, I got you. Okay. Other, th- yeah, but yeah, uh, actually, that means Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be judged blindly. No, there's no reviews coming out for it normally. Okay. Unless you're you just gonna yeah walk in. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> this might be uh, like I was gonna say like. There's been so many leaks about the movie as far as, like, obviously the appearances of other Spider-Man potentially because you see names popping up here and there. And, you know, people are speculating just based on, like, recent, like, posters and trailers. Yep. So. It's 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 crazy. But I can't wait. That's going to be the. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I need to see it so fucking bad. I'm trying to get tickets for Sunday that weekend. But I also know that it's probably just going to have to be me and Katrina. Because there's no fucking space anywhere. <laughs> so I've heard, like people trying to that like. Play... It's... If you are, if you trying to get a ticket for Thursday night, you're screwed. Oh my god, it's gone. There's there's no theaters in our local area that have any seats. I, was willing, I tried. I was willing for Endgame, but <laughs> I can I can hold off just a little bit. If it's just a few days after, somewhere on yeah, the like it was, it's nuts. And then Friday is almost packed up too. You can only get really late showings, and I can't do that because I have to work on Saturday. Oh, my God. And then Saturday is a little bit more open, but uh, I actually have plans that Saturday. Hmm. So Sunday would be the only day I can do it. 
to watch No Way Home. So I'm going to have to miss, if you guys are watching it that weekend, I'm going to have to miss that podcast because I'm not here. Spoilers. <laughs> gotcha. But um, Sunday would probably only, ha- it's going to have to just be me and Katrina because I don't think I can make a group thing because there's no way we can get all tickets. There's no fucking way. There, it's, it's packed, dude. You should see all the seats gone. I was, I was like trying to look for at least a group of six. And you can't, <laughs> no fucking way, dude. There's no fucking way. There's not, you can't even get seats together. There's like one seat up here, one seat back here. Yeah. That would have had to been the alternative then. Yeah. It's crazy. This movie is already sold more, like the tickets are already sold more than, uh, almost as much as Avengers did. Or, or I think more, say, actually. Like, are you going to say that? <laughs> no, let me look up the actual, like, thing. I, the report was like saying that Spider-Man tickets are already sold more than I know more than all of the Star Wars movies combined. Okay. I was going to say though, that Endgame was actually pretty easy for me to acquire as far as like tickets, but that was just for one. Um, Endgame for me was hard to acquire because I had to buy for 10. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was a group of 10 of us that went and they all paid me the money to go get it, but still. <sighs> Man. Look how far Spider-Man has come. And to think, I know, dude. And to think Stan Lee like, literally brought the origin of that story, just saying, like, oh, here's my idea of a web superhero, and, and the dude he talked to was like, that's fucking stupid, bruh. And then months later, hey, remember that, that Spider-Man thing? People love it. Just as I did. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> All right. No, I can't find the th- I can't find anything. But yeah, I oh, think that's okay. it for me and the Marvel stuff. Okay. If you have anything else to throw in, uh, not much. Uh, I'm just trying to like pick up like different copies of games here and there. Um, I recently, I mean, I I just talked about like eBay and stuff like that. That was kind of like my first instance of like ordering it like out that way. Usually, I keep my stuff to Amazon or like Best Buy or GameStop, but that was eBay. And then Walmart actually had a couple of like sales for like some of the Final Fantasy games. So. Uh, mm-hmm. I just got like twelve in, and that's for Xbox. Uh, and nice. I'm expecting Zodiac to... Age. Yes. Yes. And then that's I'm ex- like that's oh, like what? my second favorite Final Fantasy game. Really? 12. I love that game. If you like Xenoblade, you're gonna like twelve. Oh damn. Okay. It's okay. it's uh Xenoblade's gameplay actually mimics twelve. Twelve came first. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You'll see a lot of similarities. Yeah. Okay. And then while I was at it, I also like picked up uh that the world of Final Fantasy because that was also like equal like Ooh. equal like like they're both eight bucks. I was like, yeah, world of, world of Final Fantasy is cool. Yeah. Um, you got it on Xbox? Yeah. Okay, so you got Maxima. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, yeah. the the Maxima updates free for PS4 users, but it's on disc for Xbox. Oh, nice. And okay. then it's download only on Switch. Thanks. The point is. <laughs> The point is, uh, make sure you can redeem Sora. Oh, okay. Because there's a, you can actually have Sora as a party member or something like that. I remember seeing that. And then, um, last game was just getting, uh, 15 Royal Edition. Finally get around Ooh. to that. The, uh... I mean, I have, I have 15 Deluxe with the Steelbook. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the one that comes with Kingsglaive, the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you could get, like, the movie that way. Yeah, the one with Jesse Pinkman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, 15's good. I liked 15. I liked 15 came, as well. Like, when it came out, I played the hell out of 15. It was so good. Mm. I haven't gone back to play any of the DLC stories, though, so yeah. maybe maybe I should change that. Mm. I just I had the uh, the spur to do it because uh, the, the voice actors who played the game just had like a 24-hour, well, quote-unquote 24-hour stream of them playing through like 15. I was like, man... I've I've said some stuff about this game as far as like it being like the jack of all trades, master of absolutely nothing. Yeah, uh, but I also like enjoyed it for that like that brotherhood feeling. Yeah, so. I the one Final Fantasy game I'm trying to get right now is Seven Integrate, Seven Remake Integrate. I I know I have Seven Remake, but I want the PS5 version mm-hmm. physically so I can play that game in 60 frames the whole way through. Yeah. That that would be the perfect version of that game. Mm-hmm. It's been slowly, slowly going down price. 
it's getting there. It's getting there. It's, it's getting there. It's, I didn't want to pay seventy, but it's getting there. It's it's sitting at like a forty five at most. So I'm like, okay. I think right now it's thirty six on Amazon. Oh, sh- that's that's. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, that's it's starting to get really good there. Okay, but I think I think that's it. No, I think that's that's everything. Yeah. All right. In that case, I guess we'll go ahead and call it. So. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of uh, Dank Broadcast. It's been episode 388. My name is Justin. Mark. I, I let him do it every time. I let. <laughs> hold on a minute. I let him try to go first every time because he's like normal person. He's a regular. <laughs> but this dude just wants to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> you have one job, Mark, and you fail me every time. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even here to Fine. defend himself. <laughs> Fine. I'm Philip. And, and, and that that down there is Mark. If you see his little icon, it's Mark. Yes. And, and thanks for watching. Hashtag bye, everyone. <sighs>